This is freedom to create and to do and to build and, and, and as artists, as individuals. But look, you're overreacting. Even if you were developing this for freaks like us, and I doubt you are, nobody wants to buy a computer. Nobody. The eagerly anticipated movie about Apple's legendary co-founder Steve Jobs has premiered at the Sundance Festival 15 months after his death. Hollywood star Ashton Kutcher plays the man himself and said it was a big challenge. To be playing a guy who's so freshly in people's mind, where everywhere you go you can run into somebody who had met him or knew him or has seen a video of him, not 10 years ago, last week, yesterday. That's terrifying. The biopic, which is simply called Jobs, tells the story of how Steve went from an experimental youth to the man in charge of one of the world's most recognised brands. However, the film hasn't even been released yet and it's already received criticism from Apple co-founder Steve Wozniak, who saw a brief clip of the film online. He said some of the aspects of the movie were totally wrong. He even commented on the costumes, saying he never wore a tie in the early days. However, Ashton hopes he might change his mind after seeing the full two hours. He saw 30 seconds of a two-hour movie, and I'm 100% certain that we're not wearing the right outfits in most of the scenes, <laughs> like the actual outfits, and I'm 100% certain that the exact words that are coming out of our mouths are not going to be correct. And, and I think he, he also appreciated that in, in what he wrote, which is, I saw 30 seconds, so I, you know, I don't know. Jobs hit cinemas worldwide in April this year. How does somebody know what they want if they've never even seen it?